Okay, so the ministry is responsible for management of all emergencies uh, and disasters which are health related. Um, but we do that with um, a coordination platform of partners, just like my colleagues have indicated that they are partners who support either emergency preparedness and response, but also health and WASH. And within the internal to the Ministry of Health, we have a national task force on epidemic prone diseases that is supposed to meet on a regular basis and just highlight some of the challenges within the various regions of the country. But we also meet with city health authorities who are, we have the mandate in the country to manage infectious diseases. In terms of national disasters, there is a Department of Civil Protection that sits within the Ministry of Local Government. Um, and they oversee any, any disasters within the state, whether health or non-health uh, disasters. So there are partners who play a critical role in terms of the UN agencies. Um, beyond just WHO and UNICEF, sometimes OCHA comes on board when the central emergency uh, relief um, um, situation is, is, is raised. And of course, uh, donors from various governments as well as individuals so that's how the coordination mechanism is. We haven't gone as far as establishing an emergency operations center. It's something that is in the pipeline maybe in the next six months. But uh, the establishment works is, um, I mentioned already the civil protection mechanism at the national level, but also in terms of the provinces, we call our regions provinces, as well as district and community level. So there are civil protection units at all those levels. I already mentioned the National Emergency Preparedness and Response Task Force. And then at the provinces and districts, there are disease control committees, but they can also raise the uh, rapid response teams should the need arise. In peace times, they are supposed to convene their disease control committees, and depending on the nature of uh, health emergencies in certain regions, it really depends. Is it anthrax? Is it? And then for cholera, it it also follows. If there is any any suspected cases, the rapid response mechanism at local le level is is um, raised, uh, reporting to the district, the province, and then the national level. So at national level, um, oops. at national level, that's where we have the coordination within the Ministry of Health, Epidemiology and Disease Control Directorate, but link, liaising very closely with the Interagency Coordinating Committee on Health, which is all the partners in health and WASH and the National Task Force on Epidemic Prone Diseases. I already mentioned the civil protection mechanism, but also um, the World Health Organization in terms of the former emergency and humanitarian um, assistance, but with linkages to the provinces and cities, depending which areas are affected um, by the cholera. So this mechanism works for all health disaster emergencies. Uh, missing here is our colleagues, but they are part of the National Task Force on Epidemic Prone Diseases in veterinary services, for example, if it's a disaster of uh, zoonotic origin, in which case our rapid response teams become joint rapid response teams. Uh, so I suppose, um, we, we, as I said, we are working towards establishing an emergency uh, operations center, which is, which will be outside of um, EDC, but working very closely uh, with some of the uh, staff derived from epidemiology and disease control. This is where the surveillance unit and the HMIS is, is housed. Um, so some of the staff will have to be sitting between EDC and the Emergency Operations Center, and it's really because of the challenges that we've been having, uh, cholera, among other health disaster emergencies. 
we use the integrated disease surveillance and response countrywide. So we actually publish a weekly bulletin and cholera is a permanent feature on, it's one of the 17 conditions that we report on, on a weekly basis. So sometimes the challenge has been raising the capacity to ensure that um, health workers at all levels maintain high, high index of suspicion and report on time. Um, so we, we continually want to ensure that health workers are trained um, in detecting but also reporting early so that we are in tandem with both the IDSR guidelines but also the international health regulations. So I already mentioned the coordination mechanisms. This is just further explanation. But beyond just the civil protection mechanism, we've had a recent declaration of cholera as a national disaster. And in that case, we also have other mechanisms kicking in. For example, the interministerial committee, which is all the government ministries that have something to do with responding to that disaster emergency meeting as ministers, but also a working party of senior officials, which is the permanent secretaries and other senior officials also meeting to support the technical teams and the rapid response team. So thank you.